Making Food Healthy Again According to a study published in Food Research International, a team of scientists have designed cutlery which would help to alter the taste of food and help to cut down on the amount of salt we consume. IEE Spectrum reports human beings have the tendency to eat a lot of salt because it makes food taste good even though too much salt isn't good for the body. Himesha Ranasinghe has developed utensils such as chopsticks and soup bowls to transmit the taste of salt to the tongue. Ranasinghe experimented with the amplitude, the frequency, and the placement of electrodes on different utensils. He designed a pair of chopsticks with electrodes embedded in the tips of the chopstick, which would then send taste sensations to the tongue once turned on. IEEE Spectrum reports Ranasinghe said recent research shows all the regions of the tongue can detect all five taste senses. He told Newsweek that technology would be able to simulate different flavors such as sourness, saltiness, and bitterness with around 70% accuracy. The scientist has also experimented with different objects such as flavor-enhancing water bottles, straws, spoons, and even an internet-connected cocktail glass called a Voktail. He admits the technology is still in the beginning stages, however, he has hope that one day virtual flavors will burst onto the tongue. Here are more stories related to food. Mickey D's is going on a diet. McDonald's is attempting to make their Happy Meals healthier, and it's pissing people off. Cheeseburgers and chocolate milk are getting booted off the Happy Meal menu in a bid to get meals down to 600 calories. Officially, the listed kids' meal choices are either nuggets or a hamburger. But the cheeseburger will still be available upon request, and the chocolate milk will eventually make a comeback after it's reformulated to have less sugar. Basically, McDonald's just wants to be able to advertise the Happy Meal as being healthy, even though it's just garbage. Still, some people are shooked. Angry parents are taking offense that McDonald's is trying to sell their kids what they can and can't eat. And then there's those folks who just don't think it's right to take away an iconic fast food offering. Meanwhile, child obesity rates are soaring in the U.S., but thank God eating and fatness have no correlation. IKEA wants you to eat these to save the earth. Furniture giant IKEA has created a new version of their foods in an attempt to save the earth, except the food is all made from insects. To beat a looming global food crisis, IKEA's Innovation Research Lab Space 10 in Copenhagen, Denmark, has been experimenting with various food alternatives. The meatballs have been redesigned as crispy bug balls. These edible balls are made from a variety of ingredients, including mealworms. The bug burger, made with beetroot, parsnip, potatoes, and a dollop of mealworms, are topped with blackcurrant and beetroot ketchup. And there's also the dogless hot dog, where meat is substituted with baby carrots topped with seaweed and a bright green bun made from algae. Although eating insects is still quite strange to many, IKEA's food lab said the dishes should not just be healthy or sustainable, but they must be delicious as well. And to inspire people to try new ingredients, they have to titillate the taste buds. Chinese restaurants caught seasoning their food with opium. If you've ever found yourself desperately craving Chinese food soon after eating a bowl of noodles or hot pot, MSG might not necessarily have been the culprit. China's food and drug watchdog has found dozens of restaurants all across the country allegedly using opium to season their food. Now, whether small amounts of opium in their grub can indeed make addicts or even regulars out of customers remains to be proven. But given how frequent cases of opium seasoning have been in recent years, the restaurants, which include a popular Beijing hot pot chain, may have been attempting to test that very theory. Five of the 35 restaurants found to have been peppering their food with opium are currently being prosecuted. The others are still under investigation. This could be the solution to world hunger. Researchers in Finland have successfully made food from electricity and carbon dioxide captured from the air. So could this new technology help feed the world? The food creating system uses a bioreactor, which contains water, microbes, and nutrients, such as nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. The electric current triggers electrolysis of the water, and with carbon dioxide captured from the air, the end result of the chemical reaction produces a powdery edible compound. The compound contains more than 50% protein, 25% carbohydrates, and the rest is fats and nucleic acids. 
The bioreactor can be set up anywhere with renewable energy, such as solar power or wind energy. No word on how this stuff tastes, but who cares when according to the UN, 795 million people are undernourished globally, and another 2 billion people are expected to join them by 2050. Maybe, just maybe, this could help. Hold on to your sweet tooth. McDonald's seems to be on a mission to kill us with calories, one decadent food item at a time. After unleashing chocolate-covered fries on Japan, it's now targeting unsuspecting Italians with something they won't be able to resist. Two days after humanity effed itself up, Mickey D's decided to console the world by making a dessert burger filled with everyone's favorite hazelnut spread. No meat, no cheese, no pickles, just carbs and choco hazel nutty goodness. But you'll have to fly to Italy if you want Nutella between your buns. And you'll probably need to have more than one, because the sweetie con Nutella is definitely not American sized. Might be a good idea just to make your own dessert witch, or better yet, just eat it straight out of the jar like a proper Nutella monster. Although if the Nutella burger ever comes to our shores, uh, definitely not complaining.